Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Cookham Reach. We're still where we left you last time. Yes. It's very early. It's 7 a.m. Although you wouldn't guess it by the amount of people walking and running by. No, must, you wouldn't. Must be very fit round here. Wow. <laughs> very fit people. Uh, we're about 100 yards away from Cookham Reach Sailing Club. It's just over there. I can see it. And there's like lots of masts. I would have fancied to go at that. I've never done sailing before. Have you? No, I haven't. No. Uh, fight in the wind. I can you, you imagine do, it being a disaster. You do fight the wind quite regularly, though. Don't you? <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't have minded to go at that. Uh, there would have been some damage to boats though, I reckon, wouldn't there? Yes, there would. And I would have been in a few times. I need a wetsuit. Don't have some lycra. Some more lycra. Uh, and just a little bit further on from that, it goes into some trees and then it kind of winds around as the path and it comes out in this lovely little churchyard. And it's really, well, to say it's a graveyard, because yeah. it sounds a bit grim, but it's really nice. It's like a little mm. different world and like old fashioned houses. I don't know whether they're Victorian or Edwardian or wimpy or what, I don't know. <laughs> wimpy. Uh, but it's really nice in there. But today, it's time to go. We've been here a few days. It is. It's cost us all our Jaffa cake money to stay here, on it? Can't wait to get off the Thames and stop paying for moorings. I know. We are heading down towards the most royal sounding place in Britain. We are. We are going to the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead. The kind of and Maidenhead spoils it a bit, doesn't it? It does a little like bit, doesn't it? Royal Borough of Windsor Just and Maidenhead. Windsor. <laughs> Otis is ready. He's been ready for ages. Sean's ready. I am. I'm ready. As he had his 40th wee. Okay. <laughs> Just on our port side, up that steep hill, Ooh. and behind them trees, is Cliveden House. Massive estate, and it's got this, it's got the biggest front garden I've ever seen. <laughs> yes, it has, hasn't it? Puts our old front <laughs> garden to shame, I tell you. <laughs> it's built in 1666 by the second Duke of Buckingham, and he was a right lad. Really? Apparently he was a right lad. He had women in there, parties, and all sorts. Oh. And he killed the Earl of Shrewsbury, Oof. having a duel on the terrace one really? day. Yeah, killed him. And it's known for more scandal than that. That's the word, scandal. It's burnt down twice. A bit like Phoenix Club, innit? <laughs> I wonder if Den Perry had out to do with it. But yeah, as Sean was saying, scandal. In 1961, it's where John Profumo met Christine Keeler for the first time. She was swimming naked in the swimming pool in the guest lodges. And John Profumo, who was, was he the Secretary of State for War? I, I think he was. Think so something like that. And he saw her in the, uh, you All know, together. And, uh, and a bit of a ho 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 started. It did. And it all, and went, it all went wrong. Yeah, it was a right scandal. And he had to resign. And in the end, it brought down the whole Macmillan government. Yes. So it wasn't very good. And Dusty Springfield sang a song about the story called Scandal. Yes. Just think if it had never have happened, that song wouldn't have made any sense. <laughs> wouldn't have made sense. They wouldn't have even made the song. How do you know? <laughs> Nowadays it's a hotel. If you fancy one night with dinner in a deluxe suite. With Profumo. <laughs> it's long gone. It will cost you 1,850 quid wow. a night. Shall I go and check back at sofa? <laughs> On our starboard side, 
there's some lovely old Edwardian houses, massive. Not as big as the big one we've just passed, but very nice, I wouldn't say no. One of them, that one just behind it, is called Islet Park House. And it's where Jerry Anderson, who made Thunderbirds, started his TV oh, programs. Right. That's where he started making them. Wow. And he moved on to some bigger studios, but that's where it all started back in the 1950s. I'm trying to think of some, like, really good puppet shows because they don't make them like they used to do them. No, they don't. like Thunderbirds and Captain Scarlet and... They make Thunderbirds now but it's just not the same is it? What other puppet ones was there? Sooty. I don't so know, can you count ones where you've got your hand up them? <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean, they're puppets as well are they? But there's like string puppets and one where you have to put your hand up them. We'll leave this one shall we? We'll leave this one. It's a bit weird and complicated just past Jerry Anderson's old gaff and the channel splits into three so the way we're going hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> will take us down to Bolton Lock the middle channel that we just saw is the river the River Thames which carries on and we'll meet back up with it after the lock but then on the left hand side you could see kind of the spray coming off of the weir is a new river a newish river it's about 20 years old and it's the Jubilee River and it's man-made, it's a hydraulic channel. There you go. Never heard of that before, have you? No. You learn something new every day. You watch this vlog and say, well, that taught me a lesson. <laughs> uh, and Jubilee River is seven, it's just over seven miles long. And it bypasses the River Thames. It's supposed to take the flood water, the excess water away from Maidenhead and Windsor and stop the flooding and take it around and it comes back in just after Windsor and Eton. Officially it works, but if you speak to some other townspeople they say it actually doesn't and it's made it worse. I don't know. So that's the new bridge. It doesn't look that new, does it? <laughs> it's the road bridge, Maidenhead Road Bridge. And we're just about to go under Maidenhead Railway Bridge. Uh, it's built in 1838 by guess who? Uh, Mr. Brunel. Yay! Isambard Kingdom Brunel. It's another one of his. And this one's a bit special because it's the flattest, widest brick arch bridge in the world, in the whole world. Whole world? Not just in Maidenhead, but in the whole world. Wow. Whole world. And at the time, it was unheard of to design it like that. So everybody was like, it's going to collapse. It's going to fall down. I aren't getting a train over that. It's <laughs> going to fall down. Yeah. Luke Alford wouldn't have been writing five-star reviews on Google, would he, about, <laughs> about his train crashing on this. Oh. So we go through the main arch, which is called the sounding arch. Sounding? Yeah. Google sounding see what comes up uh, no don't honestly and, uh, and we'll see we'll see what what the echo what the acoustics are like when we get under there echo echo <laughs> Woo -hoo. Woo. why is everybody looking at me hello <laughs> hello <laughs> oh she just woke up we've woke out it's up Hello. Ah, you're gonna give us a kiss. <laughs>
back up north, well on the Shroppy we were paying about 68p a litre for diesel. Uh, the cheapest we got it, I can't remember where it was, it was 55p wasn't it? Yeah I can't remember where that was it though. It was one of the fuel boats and they were charging 55p a litre for diesel, for red diesel. I was just past the marina, £1.23 a litre for diesel. <laughs> It's more expensive to fill your boat than your car. <laughs> Tell we're getting closer to Heathrow because the planes are getting lower unless there's something wrong we don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> Just on our starboard side is a place called Down Place and to look at it now it just looks like some business units and some houses but it has a claim to fame can you guess where it is? I have no idea. You'd never guess in a million years. Just behind these houses is a place called the Bray Film Studios and it's where the Hammer House of Horror films were all recorded. I know that. Yeah, so you got like The Mummy and Curse of Frankenstein and Dracula and I, I always used to call them. it Quartermass, but it's Quatermass. Quatermass. Yeah, I used to, I call used to it. watch all them when I was a kid. And they were all recorded in the Bray Film Studios just across the river from here. And there's a hotel next door called the Oakley Hotel and that's where a lot of the films were actually filmed. And it's still a hotel. You can go, if you're a bit of a film buff, hmm. you can go and see them. So that's the last lock of the day done. Next stop is Windsor. On our right hand side is Windsor Racecourse and it's a bit unusual. I was looking on Google Earth and it's like a figure of eight shape. I thought the normally, normally went round in circles. Usually. Normally. Barnsley. <laughs> on our left hand side is Athens. Ooh, just like Greece. It doesn't look much like Athens, does it? No. It's a traditional quiet bathing spot. And there's a sign up with some rules on it that are ancient years old and it says boys who are undressed must either get at once into the water or get behind screens when boats containing ladies come into sight be told anybody would think there were royalty about or something I know. <laughs> Here we are in Windsor. There it is. Windsor Castle. <sighs> I'm shattered. I know. We've been cruising for about four hours. Uh, we've got some water. We've got rid of his rubbish. Sean's got to go out and find some cash because this is another one that's £10 a night and we're about six miles <laughs> from the towpath. <laughs> Very shallow. <laughs> uh, we're going to be here for a couple of days. Sean's going back up north. I am. To see his dad and to bring a load of stuff that Amazon won't deliver to post offices. <laughs> so it's coming back with a trailer full of stuff. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed your morning with us. It's at lunchtime, we're gonna go get some dinner. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, the best thing you can do if you're not already is subscribe to the channel and then give the video a thumbs up. One of those. Hit the notifications bell. YouTube will let you know every time we release a new vlog. Support the channel, please. Keep us going in production. Uh, there's a join button on our homepage on YouTube or you can click the link above Sean's head and that will take you to Patreon where you can do it there. Uh, we're gonna explore Windsor for you for next time. We're so. gonna go see if she's in. <laughs> <laughs> if she's in. <laughs> Till next time, see you later, take care, bye. ta -da. Good morning. <laughs> As soon as you turn the camera on, people magically appear, even though it's half past four in the morning. <laughs>
Plus four. Yay! Do <laughs> you want to show the people your battle scars? Look! <laughs> In Britain. Even he's, even, yes, even he's cheering. Yes. It's not a little bit busy, but the Thames is getting busier as we get like to Henley and then further down the river. Are you having a, your ear I'm, clean? I'm having my ears clean. <laughs> this good job has been wormed, isn't it? <laughs> and then just a little bit further down. Man and his whistle. And I'm not stopping again if anybody comes. I'm just going to swear at them. I can't decide whether it sounds like something off MasterChef or like a place where a crime happened on Scooby Doo. <laughs> Cook and lock. Uh, the buttons are the same colour for open sluices and open gates. And if you open the sluice, if you press the wrong button twice, you have to wait like, I don't know, half an hour is it we've been waiting? You have to wait for the programme to open the sluices again, even though they're open. Anyway, 20 minutes later, it's a good job we can do editing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> every week, we, there is a certain part in the vlog every week where the washer starts spinning. We ought to make it like a regular segment. We've been chased by a wide beam. I've been eating crisps as well, so if I've got stuff on my mouth, that's attractive, isn't it? Right. And it says, boys who are undressed. That's <sighs> you. And it says, boys who are undressed must... Im Ugh! And it says on it, boys who are undressed must either get in the water or... There's a man in the boat going, no, 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 no. I think he used to be in two unlimited. <laughs> Otis is learning that when he cries and screams, he gets no attention. That's how you learn, wasn't it? It is. <laughs>